SCP-005, aka the Thunderbird, appears to be an incredibly large winged creature, and we are calling it that because of its raw description given by two hardened Navy fighter pilots. Its traits lead us to believe it could possibly be an ultra-terrestrial creature, one that can slip in and out of different portals made by electromagnetic anomalous locations. For example, dense clouds formed over Bermuda Triangle have been shown to demonstrate the ability to send people forward through time, using what was described as an electric vortex. We think this creature utilizes those clouds to hunt, although we aren't entirely sure if it was hunting them because it deemed them threats, or it only gave 10%. The information on this SCP was relayed to me by Captain Glass of the USS Nimitz, who oversaw the mission the two pilots were selected to fly. It is difficult to comment on this matter. Not only are we unsure about the nature of this creature, but one of the best pilots I know is in the sea because of this thing. Hence why we called you guys. It all began on March 28th, 2012, on a routine transit out by the Bermuda Triangle. An exhausted and impatient Captain Glass is on the bridge, pacing and awaiting the status of two Navy pilots who had not returned from a mission to check out a mysterious radar blip over the Bermuda Triangle. Jones, Haig, any intel on the fighter's last known coordinates, Admiral? Last known ping, 26 degrees, 18.14 minutes north. 64 degrees, 25.12 minutes west. He's over the triangle, Captain. What the hell are they doing out there? That's not where the blip was. Yeah, well that's where it took them. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Nimitz, Hawk 1-1. Catastrophic loss of fuel. Failing landing gear bay. Altitude 5,000 and losing. Requesting emergency barricade landing. He's alive. The pilot assigned to this mission, call sign Dumbo, was coming up on final. The LSO is signaled to call the ball. Within seconds, the emergency barricade was lifted, prepped, and those on the flight deck shielded their eyes from the sun to see a heavily damaged FA-18 descending slowly, then touchdown. The flight lead of this mission was Dumbo, with his longtime wingman call sign Gallo. It was 20 minutes to target, so the men kept each other company with some typical pilot talk over ICS. Ah, another day, another reason to ask God for another day. Shit is peaceful up here, ain't that right, Ty? Got that right. Hey, you know what just came to mind? How you got your call sign? Dumbo. What'd you do to get that name? <laughs> well, funny you should ask. One of the reasons for that is my big ears. Two, and probably the main reason is to supply my large ears. I have a history of being too afraid to ask Tower for a repeat. What about your name, Ty? I was known as the world's luckiest fighter pilot among my colleagues back in Academy. Because no matter how many ACM training days we had, I was always finding a way to wrap them up in the end, so they called me Gallo. Nimitz, Hawk 1-1. 600 knots, 18,000 feet, to Mike Oscar. Hawk 1.1, be advised. Bogey changed course, heading right toward you. At that moment, both Gallo and Dumbo look at each other. If experience has taught them anything, it's don't ignore that gut feeling. Both arm the AIM-9 missile systems, a short-range, air-to-air, heat-seeking ordinance. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, a large, unidentified creature beats them to the merge. Bloody hell, what was that? Go, break left. Bogey locked. Fox two away. Where the hell did it go? Tyler, watch your back. The pilots push their jets into afterburn to get a safe distance away from the bogey to plan for the next phase of action against this creature. Suddenly, it appears from behind to chase Tyler. He pulls to the right, hard and abruptly. He radios in. Nimitz, Hawk 1.2, Big Bird is up my ass. So I repeat, bogey is actively chasing. 
Hawk 1.2, report and engage. Cleared hot. Foxtrot Alpha Whiskey. Gotta think of something, Ty. We're not leaving here at all. Pass the baton to me. Prepare to fire 7 o'clock high. Gallows moves into position and allows the creature to chase Dumbo. He sinks below the cloud line out of sight of the bogey. It makes a close call, hitting the underside of his jet, damaging the landing bay. Tyler pulls up violently on his stick, pulls a cobra, causing a wide open shot for Tyler to take. He takes it. Fox two away! The creature gets hit beneath the tail feathers. It lets out a loud deafening screech and descends rapidly. Dumbo looks behind to confirm the bogey was hit. A moment of relief was only brief, as the creature, while falling, collides with Tyler's jet, engulfing him in flames and shrapnel. Tyler can be heard screaming before it cuts off. No! Tyler! Nimitz, Hawk 1-2 is hit. I repeat, Gallows is down. Prepare search and rescue. En route to my position. Hawk 1.1, return to carrier now. Not with that bogey in the area, we risk them too. Affirmative action is needed, Captain. Captain, the bogey disappeared. No sign of it now. There's still a chance with the No, rest. I will not risk the life of other pilots over one. We already lost a good man today. I don't intend to lose another. What is it, Admiral? Get the SCP Foundation on the line. They need to hear this. If you enjoyed this story, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more SCP Undocked content. <laughs>